Hello and welcome to another tip on Maximo. I'm your host, Chris Winston from Project Tech. Today we're going to continue with our Start Center uh, portlet review with the favorites, quick insert, and workflow inbox portlets. In the future, we'll pick up on Start Center again, uh, taking on result sets. As always, should you have requests for additional videos, please send an email to media at projectech.com. Favorites and Quick Insert are very much similar. Uh, both are application shortcuts. The setup for them is about the same. Uh, favorites will take you into an application directly from the Start Center. Quick Insert will do the same, but it will also insert a record. The Workflow Inbox will collect all of your workflow assignments, regardless of the application and bring them on to a single portlet in your Start Center. And without further ado, why don't we go ahead and let's just take a look at Maximo. And it looks like we've got plenty of activity on these Start Centers. Let's just go ahead and create a new one. And we're going to go ahead and use the, the standard uh, narrow wide default uh, approach with the Start Center. We're going to go ahead and select the Quick Insert and the Favorites for the narrow, or in this case, left side. And we're going to put the Workflow Inbox, which has a number of additional fields you can put on it besides just a single one for the shortcut. We'll put that on the right, on the wide side, and give us a little more flexibility. We'll finish that off. And we can go ahead then and build Quick insert. In this case, we will select actions. And looks like we've got 81 possibilities. We're going to go ahead and shorten that up a bit using our filter. Uh, work order tracking and quick reporting new. And we will finish that off. And we'll go ahead and design our favorites. In this case, selecting applications as opposed to selecting actions uh, that we saw in Quick Insert. We've got more applications here, but in this case, we need to do a little bit different shortcut. There we go. Get quick reporting, work order tracking still. And we can also change the order. In this case, let's make quick reporting first. And we'll finish that off. You can see now Quick Reporting is the first one on the list as opposed to Quick Insert. It just picked up new work order, video work order tracking and Quick Reporting was second. With the Workflow Inbox, we'll go ahead and add probably the minimum you want to have is the due date, uh, last memo, and probably the application. So we'll get the application. Uh, last memo, odds are due dates on another tab, another part of the list, so we'll scroll forward. There's our due date. And very much like the uh, quick insert and favorites, you can choose the order of the fields left to right. I'm just going to take the defaults, finish this off here, and we have everything now all set up. Then quick insert again, I'll take you into an application and actually insert the record. Whereas in the case of a favorite, it'll just take you into the application. And let's see, work order tracking again. And in this case, since there's no default query, it just brings you to the list tab and then you can go ahead and make your query from there. If you had a default query, it would run and then you would display the list of records. And last thing is the workflow inbox. Again, you have, uh, in this case, a description which comes from the design of the workflow in that particular step. Uh, the application, due date, the last memo, which would typically be, have been uh, inserted by someone else and then your route button. So if your route button, if you're comfortable with the record and you want to just route it directly, you can go ahead and click here. If on the other hand you want to go look at the record, uh, 
more directly before you route. You can just click on the description. It'll take you into the application that owns the record and give you this help screen until, of course, you clear the checkbox. When you hit OK, you can go ahead and make your modifications to the work order and then you can route it to its next destination. So again, um, other requests you may have, please feel free to send an email to media at projecttech.com and look forward to covering results sets with you next. Thanks very much and have a good day.